हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द बायोलॉजी लेक्चर्स ऑफ आस्क आई आई टी एन्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक द चैप्टर मॉर्फोलॉजी ऑफ फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स अंडर दिस चैप्टर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फर्स्ट थिंग इज पार्ट्स ऑफ अ फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट बिफोर एंटरिंग इन टू द मॉर्फोलॉजी ऑफ अ फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट वी शुड नो what are the parts that comes under a flowering plant you can see here a diagram of a flowering plant is present here in which a plant axis is differentiated into two parts first one is the shoot system and second one is the root system what is the shoot system the one which is above the ground so the plant axis is differentiated into shoot and root shoot is always above the ground and root is always under the ground root system is usually brown in color okay it need not to have the presence of green colored pigment chlorophyll so it is usually brown in color and it develops from radical part of embryo shoot system is at least partly green it has to be uh, it has to possess green color because the green color is due to the presence of chlorophyll pigment this chlorophyll plays main role in photosynthesis and we all know about what is photosynthesis the process by which a plant prepares its food there are two types of plant organs first one is the vegetative second one is the reproductive reproductive organs are meant for for what for the formation of a new plant so if a new plant has to be formed or has to be developed then it has to have reproductive organs the presence of reproductive organs is a must in order to develop a seed into a plant the vegetative organs are the ones which take part in plant nutrition in plant growth and maintenance of plant body vegetative organs are three in number first one is the root second is the stem and third one is the leaf reproductive organs are also three in numbers flowers fruits and seeds let's have a look at the roots first you can see here a diagram of root it is underground as we have studied in our first slide it is non green and it anchors the plant to the soil so it helps in anchoring of the plant to the soil it takes part in absorption of water as well as minerals so if a plant has to absorb water or minerals then in that case the organ that will be the active part of the plant will be the root root is divided into primary root secondary root and tertiary root let me encircle all the parts this is a root this is the primary root the main one this is the primary root and its branches are the secondary roots it is having a root cap the tip of the root and it's having very small hairy structures these are called root hair in some cases rootlets are also present the fine branches these are called the rootlets okay so next organ is stem stem is above the ground it is erect it bears lateral branches at intervals there is the presence of node you can see at few intervals nodes are present in a plant stem this is the complete structure is stem now in between the 
two nodes the distance between the two nodes is known as internode next organ that comes under a plant the flowering plant is leaf leaves are green in color you already know why they are green in color for the process of photosynthesis they are dissimilar there is not a compensation uh, compensation that uh, leaf has to be similar in structure it's not compulsory it is dissimilar it is a lateral outgrowth it develops on the stem you have seen in all the plants and it may be developing from the branch in the region of nodes you have seen nodes in my previous slide there you saw that a stem was having nodes from the nodes develops the leaf a leaf has three parts leaf base petiole and lamina now just having a look at the diagram of a leaf it is having apex the uppermost tip of the leaf is called apex it is having a boundary the boundary of the leaf is known as margin and there are many veins inside a leaf you have always seen in leaves veins are present and the mid part of the vein the middle line that joins all the veins it is known as midrib in the diagram you can also see midrib is present and this is the base of the leaf from where the leaf structure starts the part which connects the leaf to the stem is known as petiole so this is the petiole and here is the axillary bud and one greenish stipule and this complete you can say here you can see completely from apex till base this complete portion is known as blade now comes the flower flower is a specialized condensed shoot it is the main sexual part of the plant the sexual organs of the plant are present mainly in flower it is having a broad surface for thalamus or torus let me explain you the diagram it is having stamen a flower is having stamen you can see here anther and filament i am making a separate diagram over here this is the anther and over the anther are the filaments these filaments are containing pollen grains and second we have pistil pistil is the complete part from you can see here this complete part is the pistil it is having ovary inside so ovary etc are found in pistil here are some calyx or sepals you can call them these are green colored and a flower contains corolla corolla you can easily remember the difference between calyx and corolla if you pronounce corolla it's uh, pronouncing somewhat uh, similar to the color so the part which contains color various colors so corolla are the colorful leaf colorful parts or petals of a flower why corolla is color basically corolla is very brightly colored you have seen in many flowers they are having very bright colors why is it so in order to attract insects towards the flower why is it necessary to attract an insect you have learned about a term pollination what is pollination the process by which pollen grains enter into the pistil so this complete process takes place through various agencies what are these agencies like insects ants wind like this bees the bees you have seen 
honey bee etc so all these agencies are involved in the transfer of pollen grains from one flower to the other flower that other flower can be from the same plant or from the different plant so in when what happens when an insect comes it is attracted towards the flower because of those bright corolla okay so that insect will come and sit on that flower and when it will sit on that flower the pollen grains will stick over the wings of that insect and when that insect goes to the other flower and flies over there or sit over there then those pollen gra pollen grains may enter into the pistil of the flower and from there begins the journey of reproduction okay so next is there are some more structures of the flower i have given a diagram over here these are the sepals the petals the stamens and the carpel so here i am highlighting all these things microsporophyll that is the stamen this is the male sex part okay male sex part of the flower and carpel that is the part which contains ovary it is the female part of the plant okay next is the seed what is a seed a seed is a ripened ovule it has an embryo a food reserve and a protective covering called seed coat i can highlight over here seed coat is here it is also having an axis that is known as the embryo axis or tigellum in this diagram you can see hypocotyl radical axis is present this is the embryo axis and one or two seeds seed leaves are present which are known as cotyledon so here is the cotyledon one end of embryo axis possesses plumule and you can see plumule is present in this diagram now one question is what is the purpose of cotyledon means uh, what is a cotyledon it is one or two seed leaves so what is a one seed leaf what is a two seed leaf this one the one which i have shown in the diagram is a monocotyledon seed what is a dicotyledon seed in which two seed leaves are present so these are the ones which are known as dicots or dicotyledon seeds okay next we are having fruit what is a fruit it is a ripened ovary it has a wall that is known as pericarp i am highlighting over the diagram this is the pericarp and the pericarp is divided into three parts that is the endocarp the mesocarp and the exocarp and it is having a seed as well the seed can be one or more inside the fruit the seed is again divided into endosperm embryo seed coat we have seen in the previous slide the complete diagram of the seed okay so this was all about a lecture over morphology of flowering plants under which we have studied parts of a flowering plant if you have any doubt over this topic or over any other topic just go to the website askiitens.com and click on the discussion board over there you can drop your questions and the questions will be answered by the experts till then wait for the next video over the chapter morphology of flowering plants thank you